Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 1st of March 2024. I hope you are keeping well, uh, having a good life um, and whatever you are doing. Um, some people can't have a good life in various parts of the world because their way of life is under threat. Uh, and this of course is a constant thing. Uh, when it comes to global politics. Now, governments of all persuasions, left, right, middle, whatever, uh, often try to um, dissuade through various legal means, let's say, uh, people from protesting. They don't like it. Governments never like people to protest against them. Uh, it shows them up for what they are quite often, of course. Um, I mention this because um, currently in the UK, the uh, Tories are making a big fuss about um, what they call mob rule. Now, if it's true that people have threatened violence and, or, or made death threats and stuff like that, this is totally unacceptable. Probably is and certainly should be if it isn't illegal. Um, that, that's very un That has to be made clear that that's totally unacceptable. About where people can protest? Hmm. That's a debatable matter. Now, uh, personally, I would suggest that people do not protest outside politicians' homes. In fact, I don't even think they should really know where people's homes are. In the current political pro crisis, uh, just, you know, that, what was that thing they call it? Doxing, I think, where, they, where you know, people's private residences are released. Um that's to the public that's a very bad idea should not be encouraged at all for anyone um, but protesting outside their place of business in particular parliament etc absolutely should be guaranteed should be a guaranteed right and inconveniencing the public that ought not to be illegal in any way um, yes people should be able to inconvenience the public how are you going to get your protest heard uh, but, you know, little by little, they try to push back on these kind of restrictions until in the end you end up with an extreme autocratic government that doesn't allow protests. So it's important to uh, keep in mind when you're hearing things like, oh, uh, you know, we, we have to stop um, protests. Uh, you, we have to be careful about such uh, ideas. They will not lead to a better world in the future. Right, let's get on with the Guardian. Hard level game for a Friday. Uh, I've got, I can see, okay, I can tell you what I can see. First of all, it's a bit weird, but I can see the nines in these. I've got nine blocking down here, right? So we've got nines there. Would you put nine into one of these three squares over here? And I've got nine blocking here and there. So the first thing that came to my eye was the nine in that square there. Hopefully there are much easier things to spot, but that's the thir first thing that I that caught my attention. I say they are easier. Oh yeah, of course. Here we go. Four down and up and across there. That will give us four in that square. Okay, immediately I see four, five, eight, nine missing here. So we got four, five, and nine there. That's going to be an eight. And now we have nine blocking this square and nine blocking this square. That's going to put the nine there. And we'll be left with four, five over here. Um, so. Okay. So now we have one and three blocking down here. That puts one and three into these two squares here. Uh, neither of which I know, but I will be able to say that these two squares are six, five and six. So we got five blocking there. That gives us five, and this will be our six. Right. 
notice the 8 blocking here and 8 blocking here. That's going to put an 8 into this square. And we're left, if you haven't worked it out yet, with 2 and 7 in that column. Oh, in fact, 7 blocking down here will give us 7 for sure here. And then that means 2 must be up there for sure. And we're left here with 1 and 2. We've got 1 blocking across there. That's our 1, that's our 2. One now giving us the one in this square, and here's a three. So we have nines blocking across here, across here, and up there. So that's going to be our nine. The last numbers to get in this column are five, eight. So we've got an eight crisscrossing, so we'll get our eight there, and we'll get our five here. And what we are left with is... 3, 6, 7, none of which we have. Oh, we've got a 3 over here. Right, but anyway, the right-hand side is uh, mostly done. So we better work our way across to the left. Um... seeing anything else but this is what four and five there's anything else over here that we can get now four and five uh, what do we know about twos twos are somewhere down there what do we know about sixes sixes are also there sevens are up there eights spread mm. and nines also like that so can't Quite get that yet? I've forgotten what goes in here. Eight and eight and nine. Yeah, nothing to do with that yet. Right. Okay. So we've got to let's go on a little trek around, trying to spot something useful. Okay, I've seen it. Uh, across here, we're missing 4, 6, and 8. Now, if you remember, 8 has to be in one of these two squares here, right? So this can't be 8, can't be 6. So in this row, it's got to be a 4. And that will give us 4 up in the top here, like so. And also the 8 blocking here will give us the 8 there and the 6 there. Uh, not sure how that looks over here now. So we got ones there. What do we know about the twos? Mm, not much. Threes are down here. Four, five, mm, six. There, there. Seven. There, there. Okay, is that one and seven? I've forgotten now. Oh no, one was up here, sevens are there. 
okay, not yet. But in this column here now, we're looking for 2, 3, and 6. And I see the 3 and the 6 in the same row. That must be a 2 then. And this 4 blocking those two squares, in fact, will give us 4 there. And we are left here with 1, 5, I think. Okay, down here is f uh, 2 and 5, no joy on that. And down here is 3, 6, 7, 1 in each column. That's no good. Okay. So we'll move in another direction. I think I'll go back to going through the numbers again. Oh, okay, we've got four across here, four across here now, and four up there, so that will give me a four there, and this will be a five if I remember correctly. Five blocking down here will give us five in this square, and this will be a two. We have 8 blocking across here and here, and 8 up there. So there's an 8. Missing digits in this column are 2, 5, and 6. We've got 2 and 5 together. That must be our 6. 6 down here, up there, across there will give us 6 in that square. We need an 8 in this column. Obviously, this 8 blocks that square, so that would be 8. And to finish this column, I've now forgotten what it is, but it looks to me to be a 7. We also have 7. I just don't need that one. 7 blocking across there. That will give me 7 there. Ah, so now we can get the missing number here. Uh, 9, isn't it? And this is... Um, eight, uh, eight, nine blocking this square, so there's a nine, this would be two. Last number here, five, I think. So here we need one, two, four, we got one and four together, that's going to be our two. Two, two across here and there and up and up there will give us two in that square there. Uh, four blocking across here puts a four into that square and the last number here is a one. One across here, one across there. There's our one. One down here and one across there gives us one there. I know this was a five, I've remembered it. Five blocking up here and up here and across there will give us five in that square. Uh, the last number to place here is a three. We also have three blocking like this. And three blocking down here and down here, which will give us a three in that square there. Down here, I think we need a six. 
and six blocking up there we'll put six into that square and across will give us six there and to finish oh we're only lacking sevens so seven everywhere and we're all done that's our hard level game for a friday over from the guardian thank you hope to see you later for some other sudoku puzzles i do have to do some driving again today take care bye bye